Hey, what's up, Droners? B here, and today I want to talk to you guys about drone batteries. Specifically, today we're going to talk about phantom drone batteries, but a lot of what we're going to talk about is for all drones in general. So let's get into it. All right, so this all came about because I had been asked by someone, how do you know when it's time to dispose of your batteries or get rid of them? And then the secondary side of that was also like, how do I get rid of them? Where do I put them? What do I do? And so those are really good questions. Um, so obviously there's a lot of different types of drone batteries, but the main ones are always LiPo batteries. These are the ones you're not supposed to put under an airplane because they're very temperature sensitive. Um, but these are also the batteries most commonly used in most drones. I did a whole separate video you guys can check out about the, the health and the care of those batteries. But what we're going to talk about today is knowing when it's pretty much getting to the end of a life of one of these batteries. What is the 80% rule of a drone battery? It pretty much says that after your drone no longer has 80% or holds 80% of the original charge when you first got it, then it's probably about time to replace it. First of all, LiPo batteries have cells. And each one of those cells is going to tell you the individual voltage of that cell for each cell, so you have to make sure that a couple things. Number one, those cells are always pretty similar in fill, so you don't wanna see like one cell is like super full, one cell is super low. That is a huge bat, that is a big no-no, that is not what you want. And the other thing is you don't ever wanna see any of those cells individually go below 3.3 volts. That means it is no longer able to hold the charge it needs to, it's no longer safe, and you need to be replacing and recycling this battery. Now, specifically speaking with a Phantom 4 battery, you're looking at about 4.25, 4.26 volts per cell, which overall brings you to a little bit over 17 volts for the entire battery. Now, you're going to know all this by going into the battery menu on your DJI GO 4 app, which is even easier to get into because you can actually set it to one of your back buttons, the C1 or C2, and it'll tell you what the voltage is as soon as you turn it on after you charge it fully. Another fun thing that'll tell you is how many cycles the battery has. It's on the right. It says times charge, that's your cycles. A cycle is pretty much a power full to power dead all the way back and down, um, back and forth. Lipo batteries in general only should be used up to 200 times or 200 cycles. So if you're over 200 cycles and you're looking at your battery percentage is getting below 80% of that 4.25 or 4.26 voltage after it's fully charged, it's time to recycle it. 80% of a fully charged phantom battery cell, each individual cell, is about 3.4 volts, because obviously the full one, like I said before, is 4.25 or 4.26 volts. When you're looking at the voltage of the full battery, you're looking for it to be, when it's completely full and healthy, is around 17 volts. And when you get to, when, that's a fully charged, fully healthy battery. And when you know you got to the 80% rule, you're around 13.6 volts will be the fully charged battery. Obviously, you'll be noticing at this point you have a shorter flight time, and this is the time. You'll be around 200 cycles. It is about time to replace this and recycle it. Which leads us to the next question. How do you recycle a, a drone battery? How do you replace it and what do you do? Now I found there's two different ways to really do it. First of all, the first one you can do is you can find a battery center. And there's a lot of different kind of ones. Like the best one that I've been able to find is like a Battery Plus. It's a, it's a, it is just a store that sells batteries, but they also recycle batteries. This would be a great place. They know exactly where they're talking about batteries because that's all they do. So if you take your old batteries to them, they're gonna, they're gonna dispose of it responsibly. I've heard that Lowe's also takes batteries. Sometimes they know what they're talking about, sometimes they don't. And the big problem with LiPo batteries is that they're flammable. If you puncture a LiPo battery, then it's a very high probability that it's going to catch on fire. And after that fire gets put out, after it releases all that energy, then it's pretty much harmless for the most part. Environmentally, it could still be an issue, so you, you need to correctly dispose of it in a Lowe's or a Battery Plus after that fire would occur. But that makes it way less volatile, obviously, after you already burn it up. I've even seen some forums where people are saying, you know, when you're done with a battery, what you should do is take it out to a place, dig a hole, you know, put a couple bullets in it, let it like pretty much let it like let the fire go and then take those to like a Lowe's or a Battery Plus. I don't recommend that. I would say uh, instead of puncturing it yourself, take it to the pros at a Battery Plus and have them dispose of it. And that is the most safe, the most uh, effective and the most responsible way to get rid of your old batteries. One thing if you're like, well, what about my Inspire? What about my Mavic? What about that? All these things are really, really easy to find. If you have those questions, go ahead and get at me in the comments and I'll let you guys know. Um, but what you should be aware of as a drone pilot is your battery cycles. How many cycles have your batteries gone through? What is your total voltage for each battery? And what does 80% of that charge look like so that you can monitor your battery health so you can stay safe, keep everyone else around you safe, and continue to have fun and obviously stay fly. All right, Droners, thank you so much for checking out this battery health influence video. If you'd like to see more battery influence videos, we actually do have them. Um, it may be up here. Or if you guys want to see the greatest intro to a drone channel of all time, we got it. As always, make sure you show your support by subscribing and make sure that you stay fly.